Hello, my name is Shantan and I am the product owner of Time Sensitive Networking in IX Network. In this demonstration, I am going to show you how to configure scheduled traffic in IX Network as per enhancements for scheduled traffic defined in IEEE standard 802.1QBV. The physical topology of this test would look something like the picture in the bottom. There would be RTSN enabled switch which is the device under test and multiple XIA ports would be connected to this switch. This XIA ports can send the scheduled traffic as well as receive the scheduled traffic. From protocol emulation perspective, GPTP has to be enabled on all of these XIA ports and one of these XIA ports must serve as the GPTP master clock in this topology. 802.1QVV allows configuration of a schedule on the egress port of the duty. The egress queues on that port can transmit frames according to the schedule. For example, let us assume that egress port consists of four queues, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. In transmit cycle time duration, there could be four time windows scheduled in such a way that Q1 can transmit only in time windows 1, Q2 can transmit only in time window 2, and so on. Transmit cycle time repeats itself over time. Now let us see in X network how four streams could be configured in such a way that they align with these time windows. Here I have a blank IX network configuration connected to a chassis and two ports. First, I would like to enable schedule traffic feature. For that, I would go to test options in ribbon and then I would go to global settings of traffic option. Then I would enable U schedule start transmit, which will enable the feature in IX network. By default, the transmit cycle time duration is 1 milliseconds, but user can configure it in seconds, microseconds, or nanoseconds. Uh, let us assume that in our use case, four time windows are evenly distributed in this 1 millisecond duration. That means length of each time window is 250 microsecond. Let us go to scenario editor and configure GPTP on the ports. So I would go to next gen protocol wizard and choose uh, GPTP IEEE 802.1s under audio video bridging. This will configure GPTP on the port. I will repeat the step for the second port as well. By default, the clock mode is slave. As I said, one of these posts must be configured as master. So I would change the topology one clock role to master. Now, I start all protocols. And now GPTP protocol is up. Let us go to traffic now. I click on traffic on the left pane and then open traffic wizard. Here I would consider type of traffic as raw, but it could be Ethernet villain as well. I choose Ethernet 001 as the source port and Ethernet 002 as the destination port. And then I create encapsulation for the stream. Uh, as I said, I need four streams. So I will repeat these steps thrice more so that I have four streams encapsulation.
I go to next page and for all these endpoints I will add villain in the encapsulation so for that I will go to stack diagram and then add villain Now inside the VLAN I can specify the VLAN ID and priority also I can specify the Ethernet source MAC and destination MAC. For the brevity of this discussion I will just configure the priority in the VLAN. So let us assume that uh, priority 1 map to Q1 in the duty. So I would configure stream 1 with priority 1 and then stream 2 with priority 2 and so on And I have not configured the source MAC and destination MAC and other fields in the Ethernet uh, header uh, for the sake of brevity. And then I would come to frame setup. And let us assume uh, all, all the streams are configured with a 100 byte size frame. So I would leave the frame size as fixed then I would like to go to rate setup and as I said my transmit cycle time is one millisecond that means I can expect the streams to repeat themselves after one millisecond which means that each of this stream should send thousand packet per second so I will send them all of them with a thousand packet per second rate. So this will ensure one packet from each streams within one millisecond. Now we have to configure uh, the relative space between these streams in such a way that they align with the four time windows and length of the time windows is 250 microsecond. For that I will leave the first stream as it is. On the second stream I will configure start delay with 250 microseconds that means 250 thousand nanoseconds so that it aligns itself with second time window for the second stream I will configure it as 500,000 nanoseconds so that it align itself with the beginning of third time window and for the fourth one I would configure seven fifty thousand nanoseconds to align it with fourth time window so before I go to next page I just like to verify my configuration so first stream is configured with thousand packet per second with no start delay second stream is configured with 250 microsecond and 1000 packet per second third stream is configured with 500 microsecond start delay and packet rate 1000 packet per second and fourth stream start delay is 750 
microsecond and packet rate is 1000 packet per second. I would go to flow tracking and I would like to track it with flow group and nothing has to be done here on the preview page I can see all the four streams since I have not configured the source Mac and destination Mac and VLAN all come up as zero but you can see the priority is from one to four I will click next and validate the traffic and then I will click on finish now I would apply the traffic while applying the traffic GPTP must be already running this is a prerequisite for this feature and before GPTP is started the scheduled start transmit feature should be enabled so now since I have four streams which are tracked by flow group I can see there are uh, four rows in the flow statistics I can start the traffic now traffic is flowing at the rate of 1000 packet per second per flow group two more new stats have been added for this feature and they are absolute first timestamp and absolute last, last timestamps so if I inspect the first timestamps of the four groups we can see at what time uh, this this frames have been received on the RX port and these times are according to the GPTP time scale so if we inspect a little deep we can see that it has been received at the at 60 nanoseconds from 1 millisecond boundary likewise this has been received after 7 nanosecond from uh, 250 microsecond boundary which is our expectation because we expect stream 2 to be received 250 microsecond after stream 1 and third one is at the boundary of 500 microsecond specifically to be more accurate it is 12 nanosecond later than the 500 microsecond boundary and the fourth stream is 5 nanosecond later from the 750 microsecond boundary so these are absolute first timestamp that means the timestamp of the first packet of the four streams likewise we have absolute last timestamp as well also we can start data capture on the receipt port and see the time now if I look at the time here uh, these times are according to the GPTP time scale either user can look into this time or he can look into the time from epoch which is in GPTP time scale so user can use this timestamps to analyze uh, the packets whether they have been received in scheduled time or not since these times are in GPTP time scale that's all I have uh, from my side uh, thank you for watching